Oh, hey there. What's going on, everyone? If you click this video, it means you're watching Sideline NBA Edition, and it means it's Wednesday at noon, because that's when we drop. Uh, we're here to break down, discuss the current state of the NBA. I'm your host, Matt Sampson. Before we get going, remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'm joined by T today to discuss the NBA playoffs. T, how you doing? Great day today. How nice and warm out. You got a spring day. Can't complain. It's good stuff. Um, we get the playoffs coming up, T. Celtics start April 15th. Um, so this episode is going to be a little preview, kind of our thoughts going into the postseason. You know, we'll see how it stacks up uh, later on. We can see how right or wrong we were. But first thing we have this postseason is East Sleepers. Because a lot of people think the Celtics, uh, you know, could be a team that win it all. Milwaukee, those are really the two teams being picked out of the East. Is there anyone else in the Eastern Conference that you think could be a sleeper team, make some noise, maybe a championship run? Uh, I think sleeper-wise, I mean, we talked last week about how Miami's been a disappointment, but mm -hmm. they are the, I think they're the only sleeping team in the East. Okay. I think besides that, there's no one else in the East. I think it's Boston, Milwaukee, small chance Philly, small chance Miami, no one else stands a shot. I would agree with that. I think Miami, it might suck for the Celtics because Miami might be the scariest seven seed. Yeah. Because that's a veteran team who's conference finals, finals. If you're going to play them in the first round, if they, if they put it this way, if Miami wins first round, that's a team I'd be scared to play. Yeah, because they'll be rolling once they're, exactly. obviously, once they make a pass. Right I now. agree with you. I, I give a small chance to Philly. Not much, but small chance. Um, And I, this team can't win it all this year. But they could maybe make some noise, give some teams some trouble Cleveland. Yeah, absolutely. With I, their defense, I should have mentioned them. It just sucks because they're going to, if they beat the Knicks, which I think they will, they're going to have to play Milwaukee second round. Yeah. And which is a tough series. But, like, I could see, like, I don't think that's, like, a gimme. Like, I could see that series going, like, a hard-fought six. I definitely think Evan Mobley and Jared Allen can hold their own against yeah. Giannis. So, like, that's a team I wouldn't want to play if I was uh, a Milwaukee or Boston Cleveland. But I agree with you, Miami, I think, is the... Uh, the consensus sleeper team. Let's go out west. Uh, lot, now, Western Conference sleeper team, there's a lot of sleeper teams. Honestly, some <laughs> might even say the top teams aren't favorite in some of the series. Mm -hmm. um, you get the Clippers, five seed. Suns are four seed. Warriors, six seed. The Lakers are in the play-in tournament. T-Wolves. Pelicans, if Zion comes back. So many sleeper teams. Is there one or two teams that really stand out to you in the West, T? Uh, for me, it's, it's the Lakers and the Suns. I think these two are are destined to meet in the West Finals. And I think regardless, they're going to lose to either Milwaukee or Boston. But yeah. I do think it's the Lakers and the Suns. I mean, the Lakers have looked really good. They have the second-best defense post-All-Star break. That's they're fun. first in the West in defense. And with the Suns, they haven't lost with KD. So mm -hmm. until they lose with KD... We can't hate on them at all. I like what you said. You picked, because both of those teams that you picked are the two hottest teams in the West right now. Yeah. You know, the Suns haven't lost without KD. I, like, they might be the favorite to come out of the West. They're a four seed. They might be the favorite to come out. And the Lakers have been playing great basketball lately. AD's been balling out. D'Lo, you get LeBron back. Um, they should. I think they should beat Minnesota. And listen, man, I don't think anyone would be shocked if they upset the grindhouse. Absolutely. Uh, and also, quick, I wouldn't pick them. But Golden State, if they get hot and they get healthy, Wiggins comes back, mm -hmm. he's a Wiggins, they could make some noise too. I think that's what makes the West so interesting, man. Literally, one through eight could win the West. Yeah. Which in the NBA, you I feel like you can almost never say, especially like in our lifetime. I will say one thing with the Lakers is that apparently D'Lo's going to be dealing with like a foot injury hurt for the rest of the— I guess he's going to be—he's going to play through it, but he's going to be <sighs> dealing with it for the rest of the season, so— that, I big. guess that could mean Ja could go crazy, not like D'Lo was going to guard him in the first place. but Schroeder time. Schroeder time, yikes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We'll have to see I'll be it. taking him for over 30 then. Yeah, so. I was going to say take the over on the Ja points if uh, Schroeder's guarding him. Um, but West, definitely really interesting uh, to watch. Eastern Conference, again, like, you know, Miami could upset someone, Cleveland, the Knicks, a lot of teams out there. Um, is there anyone to UT? Um that you think could be an upset alert. I'll just say for me, I Philly. Philly, yeah. Philly's the team. I think absolutely, just because of their history. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they have the Nets first round. I don't. Their Nets are probably going to be the worst team. 
just because they got most of the uh, wins when they had KD. Yeah. But second round for Philly, whether they play Boston, whoever they fucking play, uh, I think Philly's going to choke. Yeah, I think I think Philly's out second round against either Boston or Milwaukee. I agree. It's supposed to be us, though, I think, right? Yeah, I think we, we'd have to play the Sixers um, second round, unfortunately. I'd also say, too, the Knicks, um, a lot of people, I don't know if I'd call it an upset, but I, I would be surprised if they beat Cleveland. You the Knicks, really? I think if they, I think, I think they're, I don't, <sighs> Cleveland would probably be favored in that series, so it wouldn't be an upset. But I, I could see that, I don't, I, I don't know, I just don't see it. You know, I think Cleveland's much better than that. Part of me sees the Knicks as just like a, a regular season team yeah. for some reason. And yeah. I just I just think the Cavs are too good on defense. That's what that's what I'm saying too. Especially if, if Randall's gonna come back and he's I even if I do think he's gonna come back, he's not gonna be a hundred percent. Exactly. And it's like you're gonna come back and then play the best defense yeah. in the league. Like you're and you're gonna get re injured or not gonna have a fun time. And they gotta keep up with uh Mitchell and Garland scoring wise. So that's a tall task for them. I, I we agreed on Philly. Yeah. Uh, in the West, like I mean, we just talked about any team could lose in the West. Honestly, dude, any of the top three teams, I think, could be on upset alert. The, the t- honestly, dude, I I'm gonna go with the fucking Nuggets. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I could see the Nuggets being a first round exit for me. They ju- they've been playing bad lately. Really they just bad. have the choker in them. They're not a defensive team, and I feel like uh, during the NBA playoffs, defense becomes more important. Teams start locking up more. Uh, they call less fouls. And if they have to, let's say the Lakers lose and get the eight seed, or uh, even the T Wolves, dude, I could I could see the Nuggets losing. Yeah, a lot of people say NBA is a, is about getting hot at the right time. Mm-hmm. Well, this team got hot at the wrong time. Yeah. Oh, it's because they yeah. did all that work mm-hmm. to get to the one seed, and now they've been trying to Cadillac their way to the playoffs, and inevitably it's fucked their team up. Now their rotation is screwed. Everyone's playing yeah inconsistently, and it's just doesn't look good. They kind of remind me like a little bit of like the Steve Nash Suns. Not so much in like the style they play, but just, I don't know, like they have like an MVP guy, but he's not like, he's not necessarily like a scorer. Like he's not going to drop 40. Yeah. And they're just like gr- look great in the regular season, like when they're spaced out and everything, but just they kind of soft. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I feel like they don't have that like killer identity. Nash wasn't the greatest defender either. No. So. I don't know. I could see the Grizzlies, Kings, too. I think a lot of teams in the West uh, could get upset. We get the first round this upcoming weekend. Celtics play Saturday, April 15th. A um, lot of interesting first-round matchups, mostly out West. Um, for me, the one that stands out <laughs> is Suns Clippers. T, I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm totally with you. This is, I will be glued to my TV for this series. Mm-hmm. And it sucks because I got the news this morning. Paul George is going to be ready to start the series. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, which is huge. Uh, they said he's trending in the right way. But what does that even mean? It's like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if they go down 2 nothing, or like 3-1, and then he's ready to come back, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? It's like someone saying, oh, I'm going to tip you well, and they tip you $2. It's fucking terrible. Awful. Yeah. No, I would say Suns uh, Clippers definitely, because that could be a conference final matchup. You know what I mean? Yeah. In a different year. So to have that in the first round, it's cool because usually you have like lay up five game series in the first round. Yeah, I think because I th- I think the Clippers will give him a show. I think Russ will just like have a game yeah. one or t- once or twice. So I think it'll be Suns and six unless they get PG back like after game one or game two. I agree. I go Suns and six. Also, I think Grizzlies Lakers if Lakers win the play in would would be a great series. That that could go to that, seven. I was gonna as say well. I like that to go to seven, and I feel like a lot of drama in that series too because the Grizzlies kind of. Gets that out of people. The Lakers, it's the Lake Show. Yeah, I could see, I could see John ja LeBron. Yeah, face to face. Like that'd be a fun one. Um, so that's a cool thing about this round of the playoffs uh, this year in the NBA. You might get a uh, matchup you'd see second, third round, and the first round, which is really cool. I feel like everyone cares about the Western playoffs like more than the East. I think I feel like the East is just boring. I feel like everyone for the East is just waiting for the Celtics and Bucks to get to, to get through. Finals. Yeah, you know, just all right, like Celtics Bucks. Two, first two rounds, you know, whatever, versus the West, literally no one has any idea. Yeah, what meanwhile, happen. the West, everyone's like, oh, shit, every series could maybe go to seven no, games. And that's it's true for me. Absurd. The West is much more interesting. It's like the Western Conference is a play-in tournament. No, it literally is, which is so, which is so cr- Even the play-in teams in the West could, like, go on runs. If the Pelicans win and get in, somehow get in, and Zion comes back. Yeah, I mean, if they have Zion come back, then that's going to be Wouldn't bank on it, insane. but at the beginning of the season, when he was there, they were the one seed. So... For a little bit, um, I guess we'll skip ahead. We're talking about the first round. 
Finals prediction. I think the East, everyone's talking Bucks or Celtics. Like we said, the West could really go any way. I've, I've stuck with it all year. I guess I'll stick with it here. I got Celtics versus Suns. And I got Celtics beating the Suns in seven games. Um, this is, you know, obviously it could go this way too. It could be Bucks Suns. I have Celtics Suns. Um, T, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm a Celtics fan. I want it to be the Celtics. I think they can be the Celtics, but it's going to be them or Milwaukee mm -hmm. being the Suns. I will say, like, if I wasn't a Celtics fan, it would be cool to see a finals rematch. Suns Bucks, you kind of get be, like a, yeah. you kind of get like a rivalry going, and you throw KD into that mix. Yeah, so like that would be fucking insane. Um, but yeah, I think Bucks Suns Celtics Suns. We both we, we both picked the Suns to come out of the West. Yes, and the, and then fucking Bucks Celtics. That's kind of fifty fifty. So interesting to see what happens there. Um, come June, bleed green. Talking about the Celtics. Speaking of the Celtics, everyone's talking about what we expect from the Celtics this postseason. Me personally, I think it's championship or bust. I mean, this team's done it. They've gone to the conference finals a million times, went to the finals, game six of the finals last year. Yes, they've had a good year. You know, they go to the conference finals, lose to the Bucks. Wouldn't be a big upset. But I don't know, man. At this point, championship or bust. I, we've seen everything else from this team. Um, personally, I think they got to get it done. Because if you go to the finals this year and lose, like fucking it's, you know, you're staying at this, you're plateauing. So... I don't know. That's just what I think. What do you think? I th I think they've <laughs> didn't they even say that before the start of the season? I think they're they like did. A, yeah. they, I think they quote unquote said this is a championship or bust season. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they mean that to like say oh we're gonna blow up the team if we don't win it all this season. But mm -hmm. it's clear that they all have they're all destined on winning a championship. I mean they have to. They don't want to be a team that goes to the finals every year and loses. You know what I mean? Like what that doesn't mean. Not anything. to mention yeah, if they're not gonna be able to get back to the finals, yeah. Then two consecutive years with minimal moves, then, yeah. You don't want to be the Utah, John Stockton, Malone, Jazz. No one talks about, oh, like, great, they, they never win a ring. <laughs> That's the first thing you think of, you know yeah. what I mean? So as great as they were, and if they want to get it done, they're going to have to get through fucking Giannis. I think that's the finals, to be honest. Yeah, the Bucks. this is the, that, the Eastern Conference Finals is the real finals. Because mm -hmm. honestly, as scary as Phoenix is, man, like, I half expect, like, one of their guys to get hurt. I don't know. Like, KD or Chris Paul. I don't even... Even if they were healthy, dude, I don't think they're good enough on defense. I don't think... Who's going to stop I Jaylen? think they're more they're Brown. more Mavs-based in the sense that they just try to outscore you. I, I think we're more consistent, and I think we're deeper, too. Yeah. But... So, yeah. Championship or bust for the Celtics. We both agree. Uh, that is the case there. Um, all right. That wraps up our Bleed Green segment. Quick episode today. We just wanted to give you a quick thoughts going into playoffs. Closing time. We do have a question from a fan, though. Uh, no video uh, from Hamza K's out in the mountains in Pakistan. No Wi-Fi out there. So we're just going to read it out, too. Um, this is an interesting question. I like this question a lot. Stephen A. was talking about this. Uh, he drew some controversy early, earlier this season, him and Perkins. What player is under the most pressure to win it all during the playoffs? For me, T, I look at two guys. I look at Chris Paul, and I look at James Harden. Because those are two Hall of Famers. And they have done everything in this league. James Harden's won scoring titles. He's dropped 60 in games. He's triple-double. Chris Paul's been around forever. The only thing they have to left to prove is championships. That's who I'm going with, T. What about you? I can't disagree with those with those two. Mm -hmm. um, but part of me just thinks that if we're talking about the most pressure... Mm -hmm. number, If you had to I pick one guy. I think Harden and CP3... In 2018, were under the most pressure With for the themselves. Yeah, Cause just because that's when they were at the peaks of their. That careers. was a great team, man. That, just like the like Ariza. like you said with the Jazz, like mm -hmm. fucking love that team, but no one even talks about them. But Chris Paul didn't get I hurt. I think the most pressure it's Tatum. I like that answer. I mean, he, I like that. He answer. said it himself. Like Good he answer. didn't perform in the finals because no, Wiggins clamped you Good and. Nervous. You owned up to it the start of the season. You said, I got to go back there and win the ship. So, there you go. I mean, Tatum wants to be fucking Kobe. We talked about this all the time. It's profile exactly. picture Kobe. I mean, Kobe fucking, you know. He was a, that, just that whole thing in general. The Tatum-Kobe, like, fandom that mm -hmm. he had was a, just a 30 minutes alone of every finals game. And it shows you fucking, because he, he played really, he played awesome against Brooklyn. Yeah. And he played awesome against Milwaukee, too, in that great game six. 
Versus the Heat, he was okay. He was mm-hmm. fine he versus the Heat. games. Versus goal, he was a no-show, dude. And, like, not only was he, like, not average, he was he was bad. It turned into the Jalen Al Horford save us show. He, I think Tatum had the worst uh, field goal percentage in NBA Finals history from a player who were taking the amount of shots he had. Oh, God. I don't Which even want to know. He, so he was historically bad that Finals. So for this guy, you know, he's going to be all NBA first team this year like it was last year. He's going to be probably fourth in MVP voting this year. Yeah, he was he was right there with Embiid and Jokic for the first half of the season. He's got his own shoe now. I mean, he's doing all these things. He's, you know, trending towards this, you know, elite Hall of Fame. Got to get it done in the finals. Got to get that ring. Because once you have that ring, then, like, all the, you know, like, look at Dirk, dude. Everyone called Dirk a fucking choker and everything. Mm-hmm. He, couldn't, he wins that ring. No one ever, everyone talks about that great run he won. Everyone forgets. You know what I mean? Same with Giannis. Same, same with you. It's the one thing Tatum's got to do to really establish himself as like one of these all time players, like still in the game, right? You know? What Obviously, I mean? Harden and CP3 still have people that yeah. say that. It's just not because they're not the main stars yeah. on their team. It's not the main deal anymore. For, for them, they're just, like you said, they're not the ones on the team anymore. And they're already like first ballot Hall of Famers. It's just, are they going to be like a Barkley? Like a I think I think CP three too. I think he actually still like really cares about winning a ring. Uh, yeah, we know Harden likes his strip clubs. So. This is true. Yeah, Harden's more focused on partying with low baby. He could be already up, off season ready right now. I was gonna say, would it surprise you? You know, I see a picture of James Harden at Atlanta at a strip club eating, you know, hot wings, talking to the Rockets owner. We should yeah. do New Jerseys. Yeah, no, I could see it. Um, but great question there from Hamza Khan. Maybe the best question we've gotten this whole uh, whole run through sideline. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Hamza for thinking of that great question. And that will wrap it up for today. Thanks for sticking around. Another episode of Sideline. Shame we couldn't get Sam in here. Uh, what can you do? Uh, we're back every Wednesday at noon uh, for our latest episodes. We're completely viewer supported. So remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. And we're going to be back going through the NBA playoffs. We'll be taking you through all the best series, all the best players. And, uh, you know, be sure to tune in with us. All right. Like that was a that was an efficient episode.